Hello guys, uh, welcome to Tech Design. In my previous tutorial, we have discussed about a tab command in which we have a multi band references as one of the most important uh, um, command. So, if you have not checked my videos, please go to my sheet metal uh, playlist. You can check it, and uh, uh, so once you check it, you will understand the future videos as well. So in this video, as the name suggests, we will be going to explain you how the flange command works. So before going to start the flange command, I'll just go to new uh, file and let us select a sheet metal and I'm just going to give a default name and click OK. As soon as you enter to sheet metal workbench, you will see all these sheet metal commands. So first thing is we need to create a sketch uh, in order to you know when you go to flange command as you can see here a basic input for the flange command will be an edge so you need an edge in order to you know develop a flange uh, so before going to flange command i will just create a simple tab so you can just go to tab here and let me go to sketcher environment and click ok so i'll make a simple rectangle and click finish so this is a tab and we have already discussed this now uh, if you go to flange uh, you will see an edge as an input so you need to select an edge on a sheet metal feature or a sheet metal uh, component uh, to develop a flange um, in which direction or in which um, uh, edge you want to you know develop a flange you can just select that so uh, normally by default when if you are selecting this uh, edge uh, it will bend towards towards that uh, edge so suppose if you are uh, you know selecting this bend uh, it will go down um, now suppose after selecting if you want to change the direction you can always go here and you can just uh, change the direction uh, and which direction if you want and this is how this as soon as you click the you know edge it will develop and show the preview of the flange if you want you can just control the length over here as well as some and if you want you can just input the value here and uh, you can see here there is a width option we have multiple options here i'm just going to tell them what actually so if you see uh, there is a full and uh, the flange will be developed from the start of the edge to the end of the edge so we can see the flange complete flange here and we have the next option at center so this will start from the center of the uh, edge and if you want to give the dimension you can just give it to the dimension if you want oh, sorry the width you can see here 50 mm width so the from here to the uh, other end it will be it will be 50 mm so uh, this is what the center how that center works guys and we have uh, at end so at end we need to specify you know um, uh, point here so if you select a point and from that point uh, it will be around 50 mm if you want you can just reduce it to 25 or that and whatever you want if you want to change this you know um, this point you can just change it and the flange will come and appear on the other side and from and it is actually the same thing that uh, if you want to you know create in uh, flange for at a distance from the point so suppose uh, this is my point and after 50 mm you want a flange so you can directly select this and uh, here you can give this uh, here this is the one of a distance what you want to do you can just give 50 mm here after 50 mm uh, the flange will start and if you want the flange width you can control it here it will become 20 mm this is how this from end works and uh, this is from both ends as you can see here from both ends if you want to give some distance you can just give distance 1 and distance 2 so that uh, your flange will be as per your requirement so this is how this uh, works let me keep it as a full and now we have uh, length references and the inserts these two i'm just going to explain uh, in this tutorial so in the next tutorial i'm just i'm just going to split this uh, video and i'm just going to explain this uh, other features and uh, relief in the next uh, tutorial guys in this video i'm just explaining with length difference uh, length reference and insert so uh, now we have uh, explained all these features now we'll go to 
length uh, reference as you can see here i have some presentation i'm just going to explain what is inside outside and web so this is this length is nothing but uh, the overall length of this flange as you can see here this length or whatever the length is that is changing so from which uh, point it should be uh, you know um, calculated uh, in order to develop a flange uh, that is what it means as inside web and outside so as you can see here inside so inside will be you know uh, intersection of the inside uh, edges so if this is intersection at uh, inside edges so it will be measured from this inside edge and outside is the one which from uh, it is measured from the intersection of the outside uh, um, edges and now we have a web uh, web will be the length of the uh, you know length which will start from the after the bend so now i will just explain these things in uh, model so we have uh, inside here which is already um, you know mentioned as you can see if you zoom it in just reduce this so if you zoom it the length will be inside will be uh, you know intersection of these two inside edges and it will the length will start exactly from this point so we can see here and if you give outside the length will start from this edge because the intersection will be at this point and as you can see here uh, outside intersection points so and we have a web which will start you know from this point as you can see the bend is until this one so it is just measuring the uh, length from this web so this is how it uh, works guys uh, you can just control it uh, depending on your uh, requirement let me keep so let us keep this as a inset and now i'm just going to you know uh, explain inset so inset as you can as i will show you here so this is the base uh, base flange we have so as you can see here until this point we have a base uh, here and if you go to flange and uh, you select this edge so as soon as you select this edge if it is a material inside the whatever the material that is used for the flange will be inside this tab the base tab the base tab is until this and it is coming inside and if you select the outside and it will go outside the flange will go outside and now we have a bend as uh, you know on the next option so bend what happens is this bend is actually starting inside the material now the bend will start at the edge as you can see here so bend is starting from this side so depending on your uh, you know requirement you can just um, uh, change these uh, options and you can have um, the flanges so in order to explain this in clear uh, what i will do is uh, i'll just make a simple uh, model and i will uh, explain all this in very simple manner and here there is an offset uh, if you want to create an offset of uh, you know some distance from this bend uh, you can obviously you can create at uh, either side of the edge and i'll just click ok uh, now in order to explain some of the features uh, what i'll do is i'll just uh, create a simple model let me delete this and we'll just go to sketch and uh, let me create an Okay. this is a rectangle i'm just going to create some other rectangles here which will help me to you know explain you okay let me make uh, all these in a single length Okay, now they are all single length. Okay, let me make this dimension as well same. Let us give DMM. And now go to constraints, equal length. These two should be equal, and these two should be equal. Let us keep this aside. Okay, so now I'm just going to you know mirror these uh, curves. Go to mirror and select connected curves. These are the connected curves. Mirror along this y axis. Now let me trim. I don't need to trim, but still I'm just going to trim it. Instead of trimming, you can just uh, select the outer as uh, your uh, sketch in order to develop a 
tab. So this is what I am just going to create a tab for this. And now let me finish the sketch and go to tab. And here you need to select a sketch. You can go to feature curves and let's select this. So we can see here uh, the simple tab is developed. Now what we'll do is we'll just go to flange and keep it as a full. And uh, the first we will take it as a inside. And this is the inside. I'm just going to select this and keep length as uh, 50 mm. Okay. Okay. Let me keep it as 20 mm. It's too big. And now I click apply. And again the same edge uh, with you know outside and click apply and now we have a more edge with web okay now i'll just click ok now this is inside and this is outside and this is from web so the length will be uh, here the length will be uh, you know calculated from the center and if you see in this direction, uh, they are all uh, with a different different length because this is from the inside and this is from the outside. And this is a web which uh, the distance will be calculated from the after the bend. Now what I'll do is on the other side, I'll just explain the this one. Let us keep this as the inside and material inside. So this will be a material inside. Offset keep offset as zero. Okay, and I click apply. And again, this is material outside. I click apply, and here it is material bend outside. So if you check it here, as you can see here, material inside, uh, the one which we have given from the first, uh, this will be material inside. And this will come as a material outside, and this will come as a bend outside. So this is the this is how it works, guys. Uh, depending on your uh, requirement, you can just uh, you know uh, manipulate these settings, and uh, you can get your required uh, shape. Uh, I hope you understand the flange command, which is mostly used in uh, all the sheet metals. Uh, uh, so in the future, in the next video, I'm just going to explain. Uh, these features so why how and how to use these and also some uh, relief this is also very important guys please um, check out my other videos in the sheet metal playlist thank you for subscribing and thank you for watching